welcome to nasir soft in this video i'm going to show you how you can apply the random forest in rapid miner as its name indicate a random forest basically consists of different decision trees and for example uh, there are five decision trees and based on the voting system it predicts whether the class lies on for example in yes label or no okay for example inside uh, out of the six okay decision trees three uh, four indicate uh, predict the class yes and two predicts the class no so uh, the four votes is greater than the two so therefore uh, they predict the class yes so basically uh, random forest consists of the multiple decision tree so how we can implement this is very simple the first step is drag and drop your data okay after uh, drag and drop the data inside the process then if i output this then if i execute this data then you will see that there are a lot of question mark inside it means that we should handle the missing values as well okay so and one another thing my label attribute uh, or column that is fraudland so we i also label this one this is not label yet okay and a lot of question mark is also inside this one so we need to handle the missing values and then we apply the label to this uh, column that is fraudland so the first step is how to handle the missing value this is very simple inside the operator here search missing values this is replace missing values okay drag and drop here and if i again after apply the replace missing values if we again execute then you will see that there is no question mark now it means that it automatically handle all the missing values okay and this is now the next step is we have to label our data so for this one if your data is not label then use set role operator for label your data drag and drop here and click on this and here name the attribute which you want to label for example in my scenario the fraudland attribute should be labeled and label okay so now attribute is also labeled if i again execute then you will see here the green the column is now highlighted that fraudland is labeled okay things going uh, in the right direction so the next step is we need to apply the uh, split data operator for splitting our data uh, i am using 70% i will use 70% for the training purpose and remaining 30% i will apply on the model which trained uh remaining 30% okay so for this you can use the cross validation as well but i am i use the split data operator this is the sp split data drag and drop here and on the split data right top right corner go to the edit enumeration and inside this one add an entity the first entity is for 70% data as a testing data and the second one is training data and the second one is 30% for the training data okay okay and now remove this link and now here search the random forest this is the rembrandt's uh, forest operator and drop here and the first parameter connect to the as an input this is the 70 for the 70% so we apply the 70% of data to the random forest and we also train a model for this here search the apply model for training the data uh, for basically training the model and connect the output of random forest to the model and 30% data 
is trained to the random forest and the remaining 30 percent will directly apply when our model is trained okay. and one last thing is inside the operator search the performance classifier as well okay connect the model to the performance and give me the output of the performance and directly output the model as well okay so this is how we can apply the random forest click on the random forest and here on the right corner it shows us how many number of trees you want in the, at the start of this lecture i told you about uh, with the six number of decision tree example so here i write the number of trees 100 so basically out of it split the data it 100 uh, the 100 trees decision trees will predict uh, the class label and out of uh, the voting system which vote has maximum then the, uh, the overall result is showing to us about that okay based on the voting system so if I execute this then you will see model strain 57% and 86 and here you can see that there are hundred different trees are mentioned and if I click on a tree and each individual tree consists of the decision tree and second one and third one and so on okay and the overall performance is 97.77 percent accuracy okay so overall accuracy is 97.77 percent so let to enhance the random forest decision tree for example now from uh, i enhance the chain the number to 200 decision tree and again execute and now you will see that there will be 200 decision trees different and overall performance is now 97.63 percent so this is how you can apply the random forest in rapid miner so hope this video will help you a lot if you have any question regarding to this topic, you can email me at nasisoft.gmail.com or you can comment inside the video comment section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Stay blessed. Have a nice day.